And Downing Street has warned that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu could be arrested if he enters Britain following an international arrest warrant issued for him. Whilst refusing to comment on the hypotheticals, Number 10 said that the UK would uphold its legal obligations. The warrant was issued by the International Criminal, Criminal Court over alleged war crimes in Gaza. We're joining me now to discuss this is Hamid Il Zadeh from the Revolutionary Communist Party. Uh, thank you for joining me, uh, Hamid. So, H Hamid, in your view then, is it, is it warranted to be looking to arrest Benjamin Netanyahu? Do you believe that he, he has committed war crimes over Gaza? Well, I think the case is pretty clear cut against Netanyahu. You have a situation in Gaza where you have 45,000 people killed, at least 90% of the uh, of buildings, sorry, 90% of the population displaced, two thirds of buildings destroyed, 800,000 people on the verge of a famine, uh, you know, bombing of schools, hospitals, refugee camps. It's, uh, it's hell on earth. And, and the basis of a civilized existence has been destroyed in Gaza. And the main, uh, obviously, the main perpetrator of these crimes is the Israeli government. But, but However, Sorry, go on. I would also go a bit further and say that the Israeli government could never have carried out any of these crimes had it not been for the full support and backing of the Western governments, in particular, the people like uh, Keir Starmer, Rishi Sunak, Joe Biden and the rest of them. And therefore, in my opinion, and in the opinion of the Revolutionary Communist Party, they should be indicted as well. They should not just be carrying out this uh, this arrest warrant. They should be arrested themselves because they are just as much war criminals as Netanyahu is. Well, but Hamid, this would never have happened, as you said, without the help of the others. But it would never have happened if October 7th hadn't happened. So surely, the, no, hold on, because I did listen, but surely the, the situation here is Benjamin Netanyahu is retaliating because of October the 7th. And then let's not forget that we know that Hamas, uh, Umrah, use Umrah, and also they hide out in places that citizens live. So it's very difficult to isolate them and not end up potentially hitting citizens and civilians. That's war. First of all. This conflict does not go back to October 7th. This conflict well, this is a part of... Does. No, 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 no. The this conflict, does. No, no, no. This conflict no, is a part of more than 75 years of brutal, barbaric onslaught against, uh, against the Palestinian people. And also, uh, I don't think anyone in Israel today mm. honestly believes that anything that Netanyahu does or the government does has anything to do with the victims of uh, 7th of October. The, but, the but point that's is, just, they don't care about this. No, 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 no that's just you supposing it, but I think, well, hold on, no, you've made about, quite a statement that you don't it. think that anybody in Israel thinks that this is happening no, because no, of COVID-19. In the Israeli seven. government. Okay. In the Israeli government. So, so not there the people themselves, people in Israel who care about government. that. No, 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 no. This is not, this has nothing to do. Look, if, if they were, re if they really cared about the hostages, there are 100 Israeli hostages. If they really cared about this, Hamas has on several occasions said that they are willing to make a ceasefire agreement with the for the where, where the hostages would be released. That Netanyahu has repeatedly sabotaged this. What? Netanyahu does not care about this. They're continuing with the onslaught, barbaric onslaught against the, peop the Palestinian people, not just in, the, in Gaza, in the West Bank. They've invaded Lebanon, they've bombed Syria, they've bombed Iran, they've bombed Yemen, and they've threatened anyone in the region that gets in their way that they would that they would uh, uh, attack them. Okay, but in the case of but in the case of is very but, clear cut. Well, this you say it's clear cut, but other people may look at it differently because in the case of all those places that you mentioned, Lebanon and all the other places, uh, Hezbollah decided to attack on the eighth of October and said that they would not stop until the bombing has stopped in Gaza. So they are aggressors towards Israel because of what is happening. Um, and also you've got the Houthis and you've also got the other, listen, uh, other listen, but, but you've got all listen, the other proxies have, of Iran. And let's not it, forget, sorry, that Iran did try and literally annihilate Israel. Israel. And let's not forget Hamas are still firing the rockets. So Hamas have been firing even before October the 7th. Listen, uh, Iran has never tried to annihilate uh, Israel. So what about the 180? That's, that's Sorry, wrong. what about the 180 have, ballistic missiles that it fired to here, Israel? Listen. Sorry, no, you said it hasn't. I said, what about the 180 ballistic missiles that it fired at Israel only a few months ago? And that's the that's second the, time it did something that's like that. actually not annihilation of Israel. But well, listen, it would have done had they hit listen, it. it. No, 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 listen, yes. you have here, you have here, 
one of, by their own account, one of the most advanced militaries in the world, supported by Britain, America, and all of the Western uh, militaries in every way, it, with ammunition, with intelligence, with in all sorts of ways, against a population which has n which has very very little to to defend themselves with. There's no parity here. There's no but, but uh, it's not about being the aggressor. No, yeah, but, no, no. This but, is a, this is a one-sided barbaric. No, it, it's not about whether. Against, listen, it's not about against whether you pick Palestinian people. It's not against whether you pick on a bigger opponent than you. Because remember, Iran are huge against Israel, and Israel managed to sustain. So what, what I'm saying here is that you have to acknowledge that October the seventh, in my view and in the view of the Israelis, I suspect, was the beginning of this particular ceasefire that was happening. Because I know and I agree there have been things going on, but. That's Israel, no, do you no, have the right no. to defend this themselves? Was not the beginning and Hamas needs to stop firing rockets and give back the hostages. No, 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 no. this was not the Final beginning. Final three of, seconds, because I have to go, this, but I'll let you finish. This, this was not the beginning of anything. The, the main war criminals here at Netanyahu, the case is clear cut. The question is, the main question is, why are the war criminals in the West not being put, uh, not right. being arrested as, as Netanyahu should All right. be? I, I, uh, Ali uh, Hamad, thank you very much for talking to me. That's Alid uh, Alizadeh. I hope I said that right. From the Re Revolutionary Communist Party. Now